Hey everyone, end of the racing season up here in the white north and with three racers in the house it's time to take a look at the gear we used and give you my two cents on what worked for us. Today I will concentrate on the tires, we used Schralby front and rear on all three bikes and we put north of 700 kilometers on these bikes between training for races and actual racing conditions. Throughout the season I've used a couple of Paystar compound tires that I had left over and uh, all the other ones were uh, Attic's Speed, so one that's very similar to Paystar, but the new compound from Schwalbe. So let me take them one by one and tell you what I think. First, the Thunderbird, and you see here a tubeless ready Paystar compound, so snakeskin. This has the uh, sidewall, protected sidewalls, and uh, this was used about half a season. Uh, thread pattern is identical with the new Attix uh, compound uh, tire. You see the 29er, 225, the other one is 27.5, 225. Uh, I run this one from spring up until the end of the season. Uh, no uh, sealant seeping through the sidewalls. And right now, after a season of use, they measure, this one measures about 2.2 inches, being a 225. Before I took this off, I measured it and it was 215 on a slightly narrower rim. The rim on the 29er is 24 millimeters. This tire is almost bold, is meant for speed. Uh, the rolling knobs here in the middle are tiny, but because of these cornering knobs that are sticking out uh, quite a bit, as you can see here, it does provide a level of cornering that is very similar to Racing Ralph. And what you give up is a bit of uh, braking uh, power. This tire was used by a really light rider, about 60 pounds. I am about 175, all dressed up, and you can see here the cornering knobs being pretty much done on mine. I mean, I can still uh, ride the, the tire, but uh, I would need to replace it for next year. I don't have any flats this season, given all the exposed casing, that's quite something. In all previous years, I've had at least one flat throughout the season. Next is the Racing Ralph, and given my experience from last year, decided to only use it in the rear. Uh, I've used it a front and rear last year, and it was kind of sketchy up front. This one is a Paystar uh, compound uh, light skin, back in the days where it was still considered to be tubeless ready. The other one is the Attics compound one, Attics Speed, and this one is the uh, tubeless ready or snake skin, so reinforced uh, casing here on the sidewall. Uh, thread pattern again is the same, so pretty good rolling resistance, however again uh, cornering is kind of sketchy if you put this up front. As a rear tire it's good, however the Thunderbird for me works as well and is a bit faster. The one thing that I want to show you here is this is light skin, uh, it's not losing air yet. However, you can see the sealant uh, sipping through the sidewall. So after a season of use, this tire is probably about done uh, from that standpoint. Wear and tear after a season of riding, you can see a bit of wear here on the side knobs. You can see these uh, rolling knobs being a bit more rounded up. They don't have the sharp edges anymore. And on this one, you can see a more pronounced uh, wear here on the rolling knobs and also you see small tears over there on the cornering knobs. By the way, that's a good way of checking on whether you're leaning your bike in the corners. If you see these kind of cuts on your cornering knobs, you know you're doing a great job. If you don't see any of that, you might want to recheck your technique. They've lasted a full season for me with no flats and that's the most important thing. By the way, on these uh, 23 millimeter ID rim and that one is a 20, almost a 21, uh, they measure uh, 2.15 inches width after stretching out the whole season. And that takes me to the Rocket Run, which was the tire of choice for us up front. I've used uh, the snakeskin sidewall on the 29er. This is light skin, Attics compound, Attics as well, and light skin. And finally, we've used this one for a little bit. This one is uh, tubeless ready snakeskin 27.5. This is the one with the big wobble. So we took it off because it was uh, defective. But uh, all the other ones uh, worked perfectly fine. You can see on the light skin here on the sidewall, 
you can see tiny bits of stand sealant seeping through. Now, as uh, you use this more and more, you're going to see more sealant seeping through. So that's when uh, you would probably replace it. But uh, uh, the uh, snakeskin one that uh, is supposed to be tubeless worked out perfectly from the get-go. No issues whatsoever. This uh, fourth one, this was a bit of a nightmare to seal. Um, I ended up putting the, uh, the race stand sealant in it, which is a bit thicker and has bigger particles in it. So this attic speed light skin, uh, it just took forever. And even now, even though you don't see sealant seeping through here, there's a couple spots where tiny bits uh, of air uh, escape still. So we we'll lose a little bit of air in time, but uh, overall it was usable tubeless even though it was not meant to be. Where on these tires can be seen as the rounded edges here on the knobs and is more pronounced on these two tires because my kids use their, their bikes on the street so on asphalt tarmac as well. On mine it looks almost new. I didn't put that many kilometers on it compared to my kids and I didn't ride this much on asphalt at all so this looks very good at the end of the season I would definitely either use it in the rear or continue to use it up front uh, for a little while uh, 29 air 225 measures 2.2 uh, the other ones uh, on narrower rims uh, they measure 2.15 up front and in my opinion they are overall a much better front tire than racing rough Attic's compound tires seem to be an incremental improvement on the previous Space Star, but I didn't feel like they provided a lot more of anything. They were good tires uh, they, that probably lasted longer than the Pace Star we've used before. One thing to notice is that I received a defective tire. I have a couple more that have imperfect casing, and almost all the tires were overweight by about 10%. That can be an important consideration, especially for cross country tires. What about you guys? Have you used any of the new Attics tires this year? Do you plan to use the new Racing Ralph or Racing Ray that they just released? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you found this useful, don't forget to like the video, keep an eye on my channel and social media. I'm going to include more links in the description below. And until next time, hope to see you guys on the trails, if nothing else, for some night riding. Cheers guys. Cheers.